We have just completed our statement of changes in equity. Time to move on to the statement of financial position, also called the balance sheet. Let's do it. Name of the company. So again, a three-line title. Name of the company. NetLock. Security. Inc. Name of the statement. Statement of financial position or balance sheet. And the date, and the date is June 30th, 2017. We do not need to put for the year ended. In fact, we should not put for the year ended. Remembering that on a balance sheet, we list all of our assets on the left, all of our liabilities on the right, and when we get to it, we'll list all of the shareholders' equity also on the right. So let's list all of our assets, and they should be in order, and they're given in order. So cash, AR, supplies, prepaid insurance, those are all current. Computers are non-current they are long-term in nature so let's go through it cash ar supplies prepaid insurance so again we're listing them in order of liquidity but since we already have a trial balance we'll list them in that order uh, so our ending balance is 38, 16, 300, and 18, 667. So 38, 16, 300, and 18, 667. That totals to... Seventy two nine sixty seven of current assets. Just want to double check that I got those numbers right. I did. On to computers. So our property plan and equipment exists uh, consists of computers. Two fourteen with accumulated depreciation of sixty seven four. Two fourteen minus. 67,400 equals 146.6. That is the net book value of our computers. So that's the number I present on the financial statement. property, plant, and equipment, which is of course just land, building, and equipment, and we have in that category computers, net. Of course I forgot the number, 146,600. So our total assets then, 72, 967 plus 146,600 equals 219,567. Oh, 219,567. That is my grand total for my assets. Dollar sign at the top of each column and at the bottom. On to liabilities. And again, I'll have current liabilities. And I expect to have some long term liabilities as well. Under current liabilities, though, I've got, and I'm just going down the list accounts payable, salaries payable, interest payable, and unearned security revenue. So lots. Uh, accounts payable, salaries payable, interest payable, and unearned security revenue. Accounts payable. Oh, I forgot them all. <laughs> I had the list in my mind. Uh, salaries payable, interest payable, unearned security revenue. Jeez. Salaries payable. Interest payable. And unearned security revenue uh, so let's total those amounts up so accounts payable eight thousand fifteen hundred twelve fifty and five thousand eight thousand fifteen hundred twelve fifty and five thousand so when I add up that list I get 15750 is my total current liabilities.
Liabilities. I always have a tough time with that one. Liabilities. Okay. 15750 In terms of long-term liabilities, we just have the one, the bank loan, or was it a note payable? A note payable of thirty grand. So our total liabilities. Actually, I want to take a step back here. I was just thinking about that note payable. I think we have some details about it. Note payable, February 1st. Is expected to be paid in late 2017. Oh, this isn't long term at all. Forgive me, folks. I'm going to take a step back here. This is a current liability. We're expecting to pay it back within the year. Take a big step back here. This note payable, hold the phone, is current. So let's erase all of that. And I apologize if you wrote that. You're going to have to scratch that out because our note payable is a current liability. Hopefully, you're watching this and thinking. Wait a minute, notes payable are current, and they are, 30,000. Uh, they're not always going to be current, but that one was. So 8,000 plus 1,500 plus 1,250 plus 5,000 plus 30,000 is 45,750. Now, because of that, we don't have any long-term liabilities. This is actually our total liabilities. On to shareholders' equity. And our shareholders' equity consists of our common shares, 40, and retained earnings, 133. 133.817. So 40 plus 133 is 173,817. So our grand total here, our total liabilities and shareholders equity, 45, 750 plus one, uh, 173, 817 is 219567. Terrific news. Assets equals liabilities plus shareholders equity so at that point we're satisfied our balance sheets balanced uh, and our balance sheet is complete in the next video we're going to learn how to prepare a closing entry stay tuned for the next one